CK was so right here. Miss Ainsley Rodriguez talking about her drug problem. I told you I was working on it. All right, the so neck worked a little bit. Yeah. We're, we're good, so part one, we're good. Okay, part two, we wanna get in between the shoulder blades and then work on down the spine. Whole body's connected. So when we are watching our phone or holding our phone or something like this for a very long period of time, we're not only pulling on the head, neck, and shoulders, we're also going to be pulling on the muscles for the rest of the spine too, especially when we're using poor posture. So come on, scoot over here for me, feet over there. And what we wanna do, put the so spine down on the floor, elbows first, get that right between the shoulder blades. Where do you want it, higher? Like uh, that's mid-back? good, that's good, mid-back, mid-back. So right between the shoulder blades, right there. Okay, we got a little bit of pressure, and now what are we gonna do? We're gonna breathe, right? In through the nose, out through the nose. In through the nose, out through the nose. Our back muscles, believe it or not, are actually responsible for our respiration. Everybody thinks it's just the lungs. The lungs would not do anything without the muscles. It's the muscles that are expanding and contracting the rib cage, letting the lungs do their job. So when we get on any of our mobility tools, we want to initiate the muscular release with our breath. And that's what we're doing. We got about six, seven breaths in there. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use our body weight and get a little bit more pressure into the so spine by giving us the, ourselves the old safety hug. You know what that is? No. Nope. Okay, one arm over the other, right here. And that's, that's the safety hug. So now we're gonna have a little bit more weight going into the so spine. And once again, we wanna lead with our breath. In through the nose, out through the nose. You are the spine. I am the spine. <laughs> Lead with six to seven nice deep breaths. Let's see that stomach rise on the inhale. We want that diaphragm to scoot down, the lungs to open up, the back to open up. Much better, nice deep breaths. We want a nose breathe only. We're around six or seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we wanna create some movement. Anything that our arms do naturally. I'm gonna get out of the way a little bit. You can move your arms up over on top of you, okay? And we can go side to side. We can put them down by our hips. What are we doing now? Just got like three cracks in two. That's what we're looking for, okay? So muscles are attached to bone, right? When we apply the pressure and now we initiate movement, we are going to get some shear pressure going on in there and we're going to start pulling on stuff because we are shortening the muscles when we're applying pressure. So we're actually acutely but falsely telling the brain that our muscle is actually shorter than, and tighter than it was before because of the pressure. When we move, now we start to pull all of that stuff apart. When you get off the so spine and you're no longer on it, now we are going to have much longer muscle tissue, much more space in between our shoulders, spine, middle back. So all the pops, the cracks are good. Yeah, and it's like I get out and like right about here is where I feel it in there. You get stuck a little bit. So essentially guys, you just wanna pretend like you're like swimming. Butterfly stroke, nice little, nice little butterfly stroke. Oh, it feels nice, it like opens everything up and continue with the breath a little bit. Maybe give me three more breaths. It's like popping every time I move. Good, we wanna get that movement. We wanna get that movement. All right. And go ahead and sit back up, elbows. There we go. Move around. All right. It feels good, but do you think we can go deeper? We definitely can go deeper. Bring in the sew back. All right, so we have the smaller peaks at the top and the bigger peaks at the bottom towards your booty. So bigger booty, bigger peaks towards your booty. Yep. All right, Ooh, okay. Ready for some cracks? And there we go. We want to go ahead and relax. Once again, start our breath. 
One. Two. And here come the questions. Do you feel more pressure on one side than the other? Or is the pressure even on each side? Probably feel a little bit more on my left. Okay, so what we want to do from this position right now, we can actually bring your left arm out towards me. Okay, and what you're going to do is just try and rotate a little bit on the sew back towards me. So we get a little bit more pressure right, so in that side. Shifting towards Correct. some of the peaks. Correct. We want to be a little bit more on the left peaks, more so than the right. When we lay down on the sew back and there's a little bit more pain or pressure on one side of the spine than the other, we, we know that that tissue is not healthy and we need to get a little bit more pressure into that area. So we're going to rotate to that side to get the peaks in a little bit deeper for a better muscular release. So you kind of just want to rotate towards the side that hurts more. Yep. Okay, rotate towards the side that hurts more. Perfect. Keep with the breaths. Maybe two more. Okay, so that was the easy way to start off. Go ahead and come back up off of the sew back, please, nice and gently. And what we're going to do, stay there, don't move. We're going to move this back just a little bit more. So now we are going to move it back about four or five inches. And we're going to get into the thoracic region of the spine. I believe you were saying a little bit about anti-rotation going on when you're trying to move. It feels like you're getting stuck when you're trying to rotate. A lot of times that anti-rotation is coming from the thoracic region of our spine, the middle portion of our back. The so spine, not being as aggressive as the so back, is not going to really get in as deep as we would like. So we use the so back for this and same thing. Where do we feel the pain and the pressure? Is it equal on both sides? Is the same thing happening a little bit tighter on the left? This time I feel like it's tighter on the right. Tighter on the right. So what we want to do, take that right arm, Extend it, and then we're going to try and rotate ever so slightly. Get the sew back at those peaks into the right side of the back. Feels so good. It's like right in the middle back. Did you just say feel so good? So good. No <laughs> pun intended. Pun intended. <sighs> Keep with the breath. Keep with the breath in the nose, out the nose. In and out. See the belly rise on inspiration. See it drop on exhalation. Those back muscles, very important for our breathing. And where should your knees be? Should they be closer or further out? Yeah, the further out that your feet go, the more tension you're going to have, the more pressure, I'm sorry, you're going to have on your so back and on your muscle. So we can start off with the heels close to the butt. And then as we breathe and melt away the tension, we can move the heels further away, get a little bit more pressure. And how are we feeling from a pain standpoint? Scale of one to 10. Probably like 1.5. 1.5, okay. So the last portion, I'd like you to sit up again, please. So what we want to do is move it back maybe an inch or two more. And now we're going to get a little bit more of the thoracic region in the upper portion of the back. And it's going to get even a little bit more uncomfortable now. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can bring your heels close to your butt if you want to, to take a little bit of the pressure off. And then as you breathe and you feel the tension melt away, we can then move the heels back out so the legs are straight. And that's going to be a very aggressive posture right there, especially with the peaks. So how's that feeling right now for you? It's good. I feel like it could be like a little strain on the neck. Okay. Well, some people might not have super duper flexibility back there. So what you want to do is take a pillow, oh. lift your head up a little bit, and there you go. Now it's you're at the Ritz, right? Just feels yeah. like... You're exactly what it feels like. <laughs> a little bit more comfortable? Mm-hmm. Okay. So good. It's not all about pain. 
We no. want it to be uncomfortable, but if we're feeling other areas of the body that are stressed, then it doesn't have really anything to do with the area that we're working on. There's no harm in reaching for a pillow. It's like recovery and rest at yeah. the same time. Yeah, absolutely. Keep that breath going, I love it. Maybe one more breath and then uh, go ahead and come off the sew back ever so gently. And that's how we help your back feel so good. So good.